There, the talk of Washington, unmanned drones used by both the CIA and the Air Force to attack terrorist targets abroad. After more than a decade of using the controversial machines in places like Iraq, Afghanistan, and Yemen, I wanted to know, what is the most widely used attack drone? The short answer, according to the US Air Force, this is the weapon that since 2007 has become its standard bearer in the sky, the MQ-9 Reaper, built by General Atomics. The Air Force has around 100 of them. The CIA, a smaller, undisclosed number. Why is it used as an alternative to fighter jets? In places like Pakistan, Somalia, and Yemen, drones are able to attack militant groups uh, without putting American boots on the ground. Advocates say the drones have been really effective in reducing the power of Al-Qaeda and affiliated groups. Critics say drones make it too easy to go into war. According to Winslow Wheeler of the Independent Institute, the MQ-9 to operate not individually, but as a combat air patrol, or CAP, consisting of four air vehicles. Armed with four laser-guided Hellfire missiles, the MQ-9 can stay airborne for around 14 hours. The drone is 36 feet long and has a 66-foot wingspan. Cruising speed, 230 miles per hour. It's capable of flying at altitudes of up to 50,000 feet. Most commercial jetliners fly at between 40 and 50,000 feet. However, according to Wheeler, the MQ-9 typically operates around 10,000 feet to get better camera resolution. Who flies them? Well, there are two teams involved, a ground crew that directs takeoff and landing, once airborne controls are taken over by a ground control station at bases in the United States. One pilot flies the MQ-9 while another operates the infrared and optical sensors and cameras. Cost to taxpayers, a kit consisting of four MQ-9s costs, according to Wheeler's calculations, $60 million. That compares to over $100 million for each of the new F-35 Joint Strike Fighters. So the short answer, the MQ-9 is today's most used armed drone, and more on the way, bringing the fleet to an expected 400 MQ-9s. Want the short answer to one of your questions? Tweet me, at Jason Bellini.